Textiles sits at the heart of Manchester's industrial heritage, but its place in the art world has always been hard to pin down. Traditionally tied to women staying at home and as part of their domestic routine, it's taken a while for it to become accepted as a form of art. It's working on lots of levels. It, it explores the relationship between um, between art and between craft and between the artist and between the artisan. It also explores, the, the, particularly in the West, what's become a kind of gender divide um, in textiles because I should also say the, the, the show does, does include a lot of work from around the world where you don't get that same hang up about art and craft or about whether women or men make it. We've got makers in the show from South Asia, Southeast Asia, West Africa, South Africa, East Africa, where, it, the, where those kind of old, those kind of stereotypes and, and traditions haven't been so embedded. Textiles is now a big part of the art world. Here at the Whitworth, big names including Grace and Perry are featured in the Art Textiles exhibit, and new talent Mary Sabane is on show. Her work explores post-apartheid South Africa and stereotypes around the female body. Faith Wilding, a major name in feminist art, also contributed to the exhibition. It was constructed in 95. It was actually made in, 90, in 1995 in the Bronx Museum in New York um, for an, a big exhibition called Division of Labor, Women's Work in Contemporary Art, which was looking at how traditional women's work, like sewing, knitting, crocheting, and so on, has crept into the mainstream art world um, as art, legitimate art material. And it was introduced really by, by feminist art artists, um, which is how I was involved with art in, in the beginning in the feminist art movement in Los Angeles. Textiles no longer stays at home. For the Whitworth, it's very much a part of the tapestry of everyday art. I do think in many ways this is a very, very Whitworth show. Um, I know that there is a kind of, there is almost a global interest now in textiles because everybody, uh, everybody gets textiles because we wear them and we do surround ourselves with them in our homes or wherever, you know, wherever we live and work. Um, but I still think the way we, the, the kind of questions we're asking here and the, the kind of textile knowledge we've been able to bring to the show because it's in Manchester and because it's at the Whitworth and because we have a big textile collection, even though most of the work in this show has been borrowed from all around the world, I, don't, I think it's a show that only the Whitworth could have done. Abby Smitten, that's Manchester.